Hey, what's going on guys? Daniel from ModBot here. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I made this awesome case for the Raspberry Pi 4 out of acrylic. Um, this was CNC milled on the Nomad. And yeah, I'm really excited. So let's go ahead and get into the video. As always, huge thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys are awesome. I really appreciate you guys supporting my channel, which allows me to spend more time making these videos for you guys. So I recently picked up a Raspberry Pi 4, which is awesome. It is a, such an awesome little piece of computer and it is crazy powerful for how small it is. Um, I've always been a fan of Raspberry Pis. I've done a lot of stuff with Pi 3s, Pi 2s, and even Pi Zeros. And when the Pi 4 came out, I had to get my hands on one. So the main reason I got this is so that way I can run OctoPrint to wirelessly control my 3D printer along with OctoLap. So that way I could hook up my DSLR. I'm gonna use my old Panasonic G7 and create some really cool time-lapse videos for you guys of 3D prints while they're printing. And to print out a case for this would have been really, really easy, which is actually why I didn't do it. Initially when I got this, I of course, there's a million cases online, even already for the Raspberry Pi 4. So you can go on Thingiverse, 3D print out a case, but I wanted to challenge myself and I do not have nearly as much experience with CNCing and I've got my beautiful Nomad uh, desktop CNC machine from Carbide that I have not gotten to use nearly as much as I would like. So I told myself that no, in this situation, we are going to figure out how to mill this out. I've had some acrylic sitting around for a while and I haven't had anything to do with it and I figured this would be a really awesome use case and a perfect chance to bust out the machine and, and to mill in some of that acrylic. So how did I design this? Well, I actually used Fusion 360. I measured the thickness of this acrylic, which I believe was something like four millimeters roughly, maybe a little bit thicker, four to six millimeters. And so I went into Fusion 360 and I designed this exact enclosure. I initially just designed it uh, without these little like dovetails. And then afterwards I added all of the little dovetails so that way they would slot together, which that was one thing that was really challenging was getting the tolerances correct. There's definitely some little gaps between this and I've still got a long ways to go when it comes to the differences between designing something that's gonna be 3D printed and designing something that's going to be CNC milled out. But overall, I think this thing turned out really awesome. Um, I used a V cutter to in engrave this awesome little Raspberry Pi logo in top of this case, which I think turned out really good. And yeah, overall, I think this was a huge success. Uh, there was a few things that I did wrong. I didn't measure correctly for the uh, inputs or the little ports on the Raspberry Pi. So I had to take a little Dremel rotary tool and cut, extend this slot out a little bit, which meh, uh, always measure things two or three times. 
Um, I also completely forgot a slot on the bottom portion right here, so I had to also take a Dremel to that as well. So uh, definitely maybe think a little bit more ahead of time. I'd say that, you know, spend more time planning up front when working on a project, so that way you don't have to correct your mistakes later on. But again, overall, this thing does a really great job. I milled out little holes in the bottom that were supposed to be for M3 screws, which ended up being a really snug fit. So I was able to mount the board directly to the acrylic case and hold it in place. And yeah, I think this thing turned out really awesome. For anyone that's interested in making one of these themselves, I can probably upload the um, STLs. That way, if you wanted to print them out, you can print them out with a 3D printer, or if you want to do something similar like me, where I basically took Fusion 360 and just exported the faces. So it exports as like a flat sketch, which I can then use, I used Carbide Create to just tell the software um, how deep and how thick the acrylic is, so that way it knew how far to cut down into. I'm super excited that I will be able to set up Octolapse and hopefully get some really cool time-lapse videos for you guys out in the next few weeks. Um, this is something that I've wanted to do for a really long time, and now that I've got a primary camera that I'm shooting with, which is the Sony, and I've got the secondary for like B-roll, the Panasonic, it's a perfect camera just to have doing time lapses and all sorts of really neat stuff for secondary footage for you guys. So on that note, I hope you guys are doing awesome. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, I, I'm really excited. I think this was a really good case to kind of challenge myself again. It'd be really easy to 3D print this or with 3D printing, I wouldn't have had to do it like this. I could have done a lot uh, more intricate detail because again with this I had to do one, two, three, four, five different faces while with 3D printing I probably would have just done two and then sandwiched them together. I think it turned out great. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and if you guys want to find out more or support the channel, links will be down below to my Patreon. Hope you guys are doing awesome and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Peace guys.